You're watching Impulse on the Freedom Network. And now here's Anthony. Thank you so much for the introduction. Today I wanted to talk to you about this. This is the Turtle Beach 32X headset. It is a wireless headset by Turtle Beach. It does have the color green on it, which does mess with our chroma key. But I did want to show you very briefly the headset. And I wanted to discuss a couple of the features of the headset itself. The headset itself, I would say, overall, I'd probably give about a 7-2. It's a wireless headset, it's got its problems, it's also got some bragging points. One of the bragging points that I like is the fact that the microphone is, of course, um, it's, it's positionable, it's very easily positionable, however, the arm on it is hinged. And moving the hinge on the arm is actually a little bit of a chore, but that's one of its redeeming points. Because you can move that, it actually gives you a lot more flexibility on how you actually position the microphone. Um, in my playtest on this, which actually is only about eight hours, normally I try to do 10, maybe 12 hours. I only got about eight hours with this one. Um, and I really do enjoy this headset. One of the reasons I enjoy this headset is the, it, the padding up top is very firm, but not uncomfortably so. The padding around the ears is rigid, but it's not uncomfortable to your ears. Um, it does have a little bit of a problem with heat buildup. There's not much in the way of helping you out in the comfort area. It is hinged very well. It's battery powered. If you remove the non-microphone side from it, you can actually get to the battery compartment. It takes AAA battery. This headset is, it's, it's okay. Um, I love wireless headsets, however, interference is a problem, and I've always thought that interference is a problem when it comes to headsets such as this. However, um, if you're in the market for a wireless headset, I would say that your best bet would be either this or the ADP Afterglow. This headset is compatible with the Xbox 360, and I even got it to work with my PC after a little bit of tinkering. I really do enjoy this headset. I love the features that it's got on it, such as the effects and the volume control. Um, you can also change the tones on it. You know, it's great to play around with. I personally wouldn't buy this one. I would personally go for the ADP Afterglow, even though it's got a slightly higher price point. Anytime we start talking about wireless components, of course there's a trade-off. The microphone quality isn't nearly as good the sound quality is okay, and like I said earlier, you do have to worry about interference. However, this one kind of handles those in a decent way that makes me want to say it's not that bad of a wireless headset. Though, just to be clear, as I said, it's not that bad of a wireless headset. The range on this thing is actually fairly good. I was able to wander around most of my apartment before I lost signal, so it's got a good 20 feet or so from the actual um, point at which you set the receiver, which is awesome. If you have any experience with this unit or any like it, let us know in the comment section down below. I'd love to have a discussion with you. Also, answer your questions about this particular product. Till next time, I'm Anthony. Like, subscribe, comment, please. And you can always check me out at youtube.com slash anthonysmith. If you're looking for something utilitarian, again, this is for you. However, if you're a gamer and you're all about the flash, probably not for you because this is designed in a way where it's it's black, it's very... All your secrets, if you really look at yourself, you would be speechless. What happened to being doctors and teachers? What happened to being your brother's keeper? Nowadays, kids more worried about...